anniversary opening. My name is Deborah Tyrrell, Principal of Grand River Collegiate. I am also an alumnus of Grand River Collegiate, Class of 1987. I have such wonderful memories of my time spent here at Grand River, both inside the classroom and through all the various extracurricular activities I participated in. Thinking back to my teenage self, or myself enjoying the 25th reunion, I never would have thought that I would be here today, Principal of Grand River. For me, this is such an honour and privilege as I have the opportunity to work with such wonderful students and staff. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here this afternoon with us and helping us to begin our weekend of celebration. We are honoured that there are staff members here from the 1966 teaching staff present with us. And also, there are also former co-presidents as here with us this afternoon. So could you all please stand and be recognized? <laughs> to begin this afternoon's ceremony, I'd like to call upon Nicole Robinson to now come to the podium. Good evening. My name is Nicole Robinson. I'm the Equity and Inclusion Officer with an Aboriginal Focus here at the Waterloo Region District School Board. And I'm also a member of the United Nation of the Thames First Nation, which is just down by London, and I am Turtle Clan. I'm also, uh, I have settler roots as well, my mother. She's of European, of European descent, and I um, carry both those hats. I was asked to come tonight to do an opening. And the best way that I could do an opening is to recognize all the things that we have in front of us every single day. And I'll start by thanking the Mother, Mother Earth who gives us all we need to sustain our life. Um, when I do any openings, I also like to do an acknowledgement of the land. And the acknowledgement of the land couldn't be more special than, than on this part of the land, which is Grand River Territory. And there are three, three groups that I'd like to acknowledge. The first group is the Haudenosaunee people, or you may also know them as the Iroquois. Um, they, were, they also used the, the lands along the Grand River, right here in our own community. As well as the Anishinaabe people, uh, they were transient as well, and they, they lived along the Grand River, the banks of the Grand, Grand River. And there was also a third group of people called the Neutrals, who also shared this land. DSB is Kathleen Woodcock, John Bryant, and Graham Shawns. Special guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is indeed a supreme pleasure, a pleasure to be here this afternoon with Trustees Miller and Trustee Smith to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Waterloo Region District School Board. Congratulations on this, the 50th anniversary of Grand River Collegiate Institute. Every time I come into Grand River, it has just been a feeling of warmth, of acceptance. It feels about student learning. It talks about staff and community. It has such a good feel because schools are bricks and mortar for the structure, but it really is about the students, staff, community that make a school what it is. And this is a very, very special school. Thanks to the organizing committee. They've done an awesome job. And interesting, uh, things like Woo! these, yes, <laughs> We know that these events don't happen overnight. They start a long time ago. 
Uh, I do have the opportunity to thank the, uh, the planning committee, and it has been an impressive work that they have done throughout the months and, and possibly up to a year leading up to this event. And, and you can tell today, as you come into the hallways, how organized and how well-trained well everything is. And I'd like us to put our hands together and thank that committee. It is such an honor to be here today to help you celebrate, to help you mark the 50th anniversary of Grand River Collegiate Institute. I'm delighted to be here to bring you greetings on behalf of the province of Ontario. So congratulations to all of you on this great occasion. I'm going to give you a round of applause. Good afternoon to all of you. I bring greetings on behalf of the federal government as you celebrate your 50th anniversary. And I also want to thank Howard Brown for the invitation to come here and speak today. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. As a representative of Grand River student population, we would like to share some insight into our history and what is representative in the commemorative decade lockers. The original co-presidents, Patty May and Jim McCutcheon, have sent their regrets uh, for this ceremony. But as we speak, Patty is flying from her holiday in Victoria to join the festivities tonight. And Jim is hoping that his brand new knee will allow him to visit GRCI sometime tomorrow. <laughs> the following excerpt from GRCI's 1966-1967 opening ceremony was delivered by Patty and Jim. When Grand River threw open its doors last September, the only adjective suitable for describing this ensuing havoc was pandemonium. The hordes of painters, plumbers, and carpenters seemed to outnumber the student body by at least three to one. Teachers found themselves admonishing students for eating in the hallways, only to find out that they were lecturing a somewhat astonished electrician. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to seem, seemed to function properly in those first few weeks. The temperature in some rooms rose to 89 degrees, the water main leading to the school was broken, and we were without water for a day. The intercom failed to work properly, and many desks, books, and essential pieces of equipment had failed to make their initial appearance. But somewhere, from the depths of chaos and confusion, came a distinct rumbling, not loud, but still undeniable. This was the birth of the intangible substance which everyone speaks of, but which no one can define. This was the foundation of Grand River's school spirit. Thus, from its humble beginnings on the sports fields, through our first dance, our first car parade, our school elections, our senior girls' volleyball victory at Kwasa, and even our first set of exams, the Grand River school spirit grew from a distinct rumbling amidst the chaos and confusion to a deafening roar. We, we as associate presidents of Grand River, would like to wish everyone a very hearty welcome to Grand River Collegiate, the best high school in the Twin Cities. pride in Grand River today. Over its 50 years, Grand River has evolved to become a very diverse community that reflects our Canadian ideals of inclusion and acceptance. We are proud to represent the school and are honoured to kick off the celebrations with the unveiling of the Decade Lockers. On behalf of the students, staff, alumni and members of the Grand River community, we dedicate these lockers to all future renegades in hopes they will learn from the past and be empowered for the future. You may now unveil the lockers. <laughs> One, two, three, go! We declare that Grand River's 50th anniversary reunion to be officially uh, open. Okay, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. When I came here in 1976, this was the room I was in, 3202, and the desks went the other way, but that doesn't matter, I have many, many, many hundreds of memories made right in this room before I eventually moved down the hall to one of the rooms with windows. Anyway, this brings back a lot of special times and memories to me. <laughs> 